We're joined now by Fan Jialing. She's the Deputy Director of the Centre of Museum Development and Research at Capital Normal University. Ms Fan, thank you so much for joining us. Uh, if you could talk to us a bit more first about the significance of uh, the two ancient shipwreck discoveries. Okay, first of all, we, we need to know the location of these two shipwrecks. Uh, they are located on the northwest slope of the South China Sea at a depth of about 1,500 meters. From the technical point of view, the underwater archaeological works in the past were mainly carried out in the coastal areas and around the islands and reefs, which is about 30 meters below the surface. Uh, this is the first time that systematic and scientific archaeological work has been carried out at this depth. The archaeological work was carried out by the Deep Sea Warrior, which is a manned deep sea submersible vehicle independently designed and developed by China. Uh, in fact, early as, as uh, uh, 2018, Chinese underwater archaeologists completed the first deep sea archaeological survey with the help of this deep sea warrior. And along the Asian marine time Silk Road in the vast South China Sea, there are a large number of shipwrecks waiting for further investigation and archaeological works. The archaeological investigation and excavation of these two shipwrecks officially opened the way for future Chinese archaeological work in the South China Sea uh, in this area. Uh, in addition, the two shipwrecks are of familiar, similar age, just over one uh, miles apart. The relics of the first one are mainly porcelain sold abroad, and the second one are mainly wood imported from overseas. So this is the first time for China to find ancient sheep sailing and returning in the same sea area, which fully pro proves uh, the importance and prosperity of this maritime trade road at that time, and is valuable evidence for in-depth study of the two-way flow of the maritime Silk Road. And thirdly, the two shipwrecks are well preserved as a whole. Uh, on the one hand, uh, the ship itself can be excavated by scientific archaeological work in the future to provide us with valuable information about shipbuilding technology, ocean-going ship size, structure, and function during this period. On the other hand, a large number of cultural remains on the, on, on the site, in, uh, in addition to porcelains, there are likely to be other cultural remains of different types and materials. Maybe possible we can even find organic cultural remains. Uh, which will provide information for us to study the social culture of this period, especially the details of lives on the ship. So all in all, these two shipwrecks in the deep sea will tell us a better story of the maritime Silk Road. Just um, quickly, so we about this large quantity of porcelain that was uh, found on the seabed, what's the value of this and what kind of insights does it give us? Uh, according to the current preliminary investigation, the number one ship is believed to date from the Zhengde period in the middle of the Ming Dynasty, and more than uh, 100,000 pieces of porcelain, many of which are high grade and very precious, were preserved from the Jingde Zhen Kyum and the Longquan Kyum. Uh, with many different colors of glaze and a variety of taps, these porcelains provide us with a large number of porcelain specimens during this period. Uh, in addition, the remains are in good condition. So far, the archaeologist has found multiple piles of porcelain suspected to have been separated by the ship cabin. So these porcelain basically maintained at the uh, okay, uh, original position of the ship, which provides us with information on how people load and transport the porcelains at that time. And also, you know, the release of this huge number of porcelain enables us to further explore the production and transportation of porcelain in Jingdezhen and Longquan and other kilns in the mid Ming Dynasty by combining the existing research results of these various kilns, uh, especially the maritime transportation, which provides important information for us to better study the marine time Silk Road in the future. Well, we're certainly looking, look forward to uh, finding out more about these shipwreck sites in the future. Thank you so much. That's Fan Jialing, Deputy Thank Director you. of the Center of Museum Development and Research at Capital Normal University. Appreciate it.